We've heard distressing stories about parents having to travel to the UK to deliver babies who never had a chance of survival. We saw the case of a suicidal rape victim and a family put through the trauma of having to take a case to the High Court to allow a brain-dead woman's life support machine to be switched off because she was 14 weeks pregnant. These are all horrific tragedies. All but the most purest of anti-abortion campaigners surely agree that something must be done. The above are the abortions that we are allowed to talk about, regarded as good or at least not bad abortions. In all of these cases is a tragedy. But these cases form a very small minority of crisis pregnancies when compared to the thousands of Irish women who travel to the UK annually to have an abortion. Then there are the thousands of others, nameless and faceless women who take medication they bought online, which induces a miscarriage. These are the bad abortions. The abortions that are just for the silly women who made their own bed and must lie on it. The women we are not socially primed to sympathize with. These are the abortions that occur because the pregnant woman already had four children she was struggling to feed. Where a woman knew it was a choice between her education and a career, or having a child and struggling as a poverty-stricken lone parent. Or it could just be as simple as a young pregnant woman knowing that it was the wrong time. Where abortion is concerned, hypocrisy is the norm. Abortion has been part of the fabric of life for centuries, as women choose to bring children into the world that they can truly love and care for. Life's not merely about the right to exist. When did we become so hypocritical? Carol Hunt wrote that in the Sunday Independent last year, and that's why I'm supporting her.